Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Techie World. In this video, we are going to learn about table in HTML. But first, let's understand what is table. So, a table is combination of rows and columns, and it is used to organize data. So, the following table that you can see over here, over here, <coughs> has three rows and two columns. Now, uh. Now let's take an example of students and their respective marks. So our first column will be uh, for the student name and our second column will be for their marks. So this is called a table which is organized with student marks detail. So uh, let's say uh, our first student name will be Veer and the marks will be 35. Second will be Ansika, marks will be 40. Third will be Charlie marks will be uh, 25 something like that so guys uh, let's create this table in web page using the html code guys, now i'm in my vs code and first i'll create a new file and i'll name it table dot html and now i'll put one exclamatory mark to get a boilerplate and now i'll change the title And guys, now uh, we'll start with the table. So guys, to create a table, what we'll do is, first what we have to do is, we have to type a table tag. So T-A-B-L-E and table tag. And inside this, first we'll create one row. So T-R stands for table row. So if you want to create a row, then you have to type T-R and enter. And now, uh, inside this tag you have to type what you want so we want the table heading so now the question is what is table heading so guys the subject and the marks how we will know that the this is the uh, sorry the student and the marks then how we will know that uh, this is the name of the student and this is the marks so for that we need to type the heading that this is the name of the student and this is the marks okay so uh, first we will type th for table heading and student name and one more table heading for marks and guys now I'll save the file and I'll take you to the browser by clicking on go live and you can see I got it something like this oh sorry I, you can see I got it something like this so guys, now uh, I'll create one more row and I'll write the name of the student and the marks obtained. So let's see, one more row and one more. Uh, this time, guys, uh, we have to write table data, not heading. This time we have to write table data. So TD for table data. So let's say student name will be Veer and the uh, marks obtained will be uh, let's say 35 and now I'll press on ctrl s to save the file i'll go to the browser and you can see here i got veer as the name of the student and the marks 35 so guys now i'll write uh <coughs> for such uh, uh for such rows let's say tr one more and uh, one more uh td for table data and uh anshika and one more td for ta table data let's say uh, 40 one more tr let's say uh, t one more td let's say charlie and one more td let's say uh, a 25 one more tr and let's say uh, one more uh, let's say one more td and let's say virans and one more td and 40 okay now i'll save the file i'll take you to the browser and you can see i got it something like this so guys i hope you would have understood about this but 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 there is no border in the table so it is not looking like a table so if you want to give border to this whole table 
then you, what you have to use is one attribute known as border attribute okay so border enter and one so one border you'll get for each thing in table so guys you can see i got border and now it is looking like a table so guys i hope you would have understood about the table thanks for watching this video i'll meet you in next video don't forget to subscribe my channel and thanks for watching bye bye